I've been hearing a lot from my developer friends about Codex from OpenAI and ChatGPT and that it's better than Claude Code. And after five part mini series here on the channel, all about Claude Code and Vibe coding, I have to put it up to the test. And in this video, I'm walking through setting up Codex in Cursor and seeing if it does a better job of Vibe coding than Claude Code does. Let's dive in. Okay, so here, uh, chatgpt.com slash Codex. And if you just, we just get here from going to ChatGPT, I have Codex in the right-hand side and opens up this tab. Okay, so you have four options here. So it wants to connect to GitHub first. That's a big step. Uh, try it in the terminal. That's reasonable, we might do that. Try it in your IDE. That's probably what we're gonna do. And let's just make sure, yep, it supports cursor, cool. Uh, or enable code review. Hmm, fine, but that's not what I wanna do. So I wanna try it in my IDE because if we go back to cursor, we have Claude code running in the terminal right now. And so I just want to replace this, right? So first thing, let's just quit Claude code. All right, catch you later. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so now we're back to just regular old terminal life here. And so we can say clear. And this is just regular terminal running in this project where we've been working on this Catalyst project. So you can go visit it and check it out, catalyst.craighewitt.com. It's an accountability buddy for you. Let's just try this. Let's be crazy and try this. And we want to load this in Cursor. So do you want to open up Cursor? Yep, I do. And it's asking me not in the terminal, interestingly, but in like an application page here, do you want to install Codex? Yep, cool, let's do it. Do I trust this? <laughs> That's a loaded question, right? Do I trust OpenAI? Eh, yeah, mostly, I think. Uh, okay, cool. So it's, uh, I like this. You know, this is a more user-friendly experience than down here in the terminal, which is a super scary place, but that's okay. Okay, so it's enabled, we can disable it and we can uninstall it too. Cool, okay, so add codex as a panel in VS Code in chat, okay. Uh, okay, great. So let's see, maybe I need, aha. Okay, so I have over here in the sidebar, I have Claude and I have Codex. So let's click this. Hmm, I don't want that one. I want my, oh my gracious. That's not what I want either. Hmm, okay, so that's kind of weird. So it replaces my whole file structure over here. Oh, and so it's wanting me to toggle hmm, between these. Okay, fine, we're gonna sign in with ChatGPT and it's gonna open this website, log in. And it'll take us back to Cursor, which is our IDE, our integrated development environment. So, yep, uh, workspace, I wanna keep this in my personal account. Okay, cool. So it should take me back to, okay, it doesn't take me back there, but I can come back here. And Okay, cool, so let's see. So, hmm, all right, this is kind of weird. Ask Codex to build anything. Codex in your IDE, Codex navigates, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Weird that this is like running in the sidebar and it's asking me to do this. Turn to-dos into coded tasks. Decide how much autonomy you wanna give, that's cool. Uh, Codex can make mistakes powered by your ChatGPT account, cool, okay. Okay, so yeah, I just don't, you know, like, I don't know, the way I'm used to, the way I'm used to running is we have like the AI pane on the bottom or in the left, but now like I want, I need a pane to show my files or I feel like I need to. Maybe I don't, maybe it's just like, hey, this is that good to where you don't need, <laughs> you don't need any of this stuff. So I guess we don't need terminal. Uh, okay, so let's see, let's open a project here. Uh, open folder and I'm gonna open my catalyst folder. So, man, weird, yeah, like I just, okay, so I see this here. Now I want like, hmm, I don't want any of this stuff. Split terminal, configure terminal settings. Hmm, I just want, <laughs> I want my files on the left, I want my stuff in the middle, and I want my AI stuff either in the bottom here or in the side over here, like that would be fine too. So primary sidebar, toggle AI, okay. So maybe I can switch to be, hmm, grr. I just don't, chat settings. Okay, let's see. Default mode. Okay, so just honestly, it looked for about 10 minutes, couldn't figure out how to get Codex either down here in the terminal area or in the sidebar over here. So I guess I could do this. Nope, I can't do that. I can't do like a split screen. 
I, I can so I can only get uh, Codex to run over here. Uh, oh, I can toggle the sidebar with Command B or layout controls in the top right hand corner. So let's see what Command B does. Oh my gracious, that's not what I want. Or layout controls in the top right corner. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. Hassle, giant hassle, giant, giant, giant hassle. Okay, so I can't. I sorry. Okay, <laughs> that's not the point of this. Okay, so we're gonna see what Codex can do here. Let's give it a small task for it to complete so we can uh, just see its progress and what, you know, coding with it looks like. I'm gonna make the window a little bit bigger here and then we'll get to vibe coding. You know, so, I mean, I gotta say, maybe this kind of like should be the main place that we're looking when we wanna do stuff. Okay, and the feature that we're gonna build is AI integration into the feedback that people are giving when they respond to emails. So this is an accountability service. They get uh, to set three goals that they want to make for the week and then for every and then Monday and then Friday they check in on them and we want AI to say good job or you didn't meet it and here's some suggestions. So I'm going to use whisper flow on my computer to just speak into this to uh, to give us some context and instructions. I want to use ChatGPT to give feedback to the user when they submit their Friday email response. So if you'll recall on Fridays we have the user respond with how they did with their goals for the week. I want you to use ChatGPT to review the goals they set from Monday and their response on how they did on those goals and give them encouragement or give them tips or maybe a productivity hack or something like that. So it should be relevant to the goals they set, maybe a resource for them, uh, and certainly anything that I created, I'm Craig Hewitt, so any kind of YouTube video or a podcast episode would be preferable. Um, but really anything that would help them to achieve their goals better and more consistently is the goal here. So uh, first, let's plan this feature out before you go build anything. Let's talk about what the plan would be, and then we'll go execute on it. All right, so let's see how this does. You know, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I know plan mode in Claude Code is something we didn't touch on here on the channel, but this is what I would do in plan mode. I don't really see this. I don't really see this here. So you have model. Selection, you have agent or chat or full access. You can go local or cloud. Cool. Okay, scoped high level plan, review current workflow, design GPT guidance and integration strategy. Yep, that sounds good. Okay, so one thing we know is it's going to ask us for our OpenAI API key. And so uh, I'll go, while this is thinking, I'll go get that. And so we can have that handy to put into our environment variable when it's time. Okay, so have my API key copied to the keyboard and let's just see what this has planned. So it's reviewing the existing, it doesn't know anything about this. So it has to get context. So that's what it's done here. It's been a couple of minutes. That's cool. Okay, so now it's on to planning the chat GPT interaction prompts expected output and inclusion of me <laughs> as a resource. That's cool. So I should probably seed this with a bunch of links or examples of my content. That's cool. We can do that if it doesn't do a good job of this uh, kind of right off the right off the go. Uh, define system integration plan, when to trigger, how to store feedback in UI updates. And it's really working very hard, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's my feedback so far is like, this is pretty clunky. And this is my experience with the GPT-5 in general is it's just like a try hard. <laughs> As my kids would say, it's a big overachiever. And I don't really like that. Like I want to do its thing and, and think, and, and then that's it. And, and it doesn't need to be any more or, or like harder than that. Um, but you know, this is taking five minutes probably. And I just don't think it, it should. You know, I'd be super curious actually to fire up. I wonder if we can run Claude code at the same time. That would be super cool. Let's try this. Oh man, okay, it's a battle of the bands. Let's do it. Uh, okay, so what I want to do is, let's do this. Let's see what this has to say. All right, so we'll make Claude code big too. So it has all the content. Oh, I mean, this is a new Claude session, so it doesn't have a ton of context. It has things like, you know, Claude.md, uh, right? The Claude file that it, it created. Uh, so I don't know if, okay, cool. So Claude code gave me this already, which like ChatGPT just is giving me a couple of bits here that it's doing. Uh, okay, so Claude gave me this plan. Creating a new method, modify goals and Friday check-in endpoint to save the Friday response. Prompt engineering, open chat GPT system prompt that. Yes, gosh, I just like, 
Okay, so content library, should we create a JSON file with your created content? Yo, that's exactly what I said. Okay, so I mean, this is, okay, so, so we're probably not gonna actually have it create these changes, which back to Git and GitHub, uh, we can just say, hey, like trash all of this work that this has done, or, or just like not commit it, I think. So we'll, we'll ask probably Claude to say like, hey, a bunch of stuff has been changed by another system. <laughs> um, just trash all of it. So we go back to the last uh, commit, Git commit. Uh, should Friday send back be sent immediately after user submits or scheduled? Great question. Feedback style, how personalized should it be? Should it reference previous week's patterns? Uh, resource on matching, how specific should resource recommendations be? Always include at least one. Fallback, what happens if ChatGPT fails? Use Claude as a backup. Oof, that's a dig, huh? Okay, so like we're just gonna like call timeout here and say like, to me, I mean, this is, I'm a very basic coder, right? But I think people watching this channel are also basic coders. And, and like kind of saying, hey, I asked it to kind of one shot something that's not super complicated. And, and it's just off being a try hard, like figuring out all this kind of stuff. Like to me, this is not like this just doesn't do what I want it to do. Like this does what I want it to do. So I'm going to say stop over here on. No problem. I'll pause here. Now, let's say I want it to undo all of those changes. You know, I, I just, okay, I don't trust, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> go, go away. Uh, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this look like I want it to look. Bring this down. This is just how I'm used to working. Okay, so now I'm gonna say, I changed a bunch of files. I'll just, I'll just say, it. so open up Whisperflow. Uh, I changed a bunch of files. I tried another AI system to do some coding and it was a disaster. Can you please revert all of the changes that have happened in the code base since the last git commit? Cool. So get version control. We just say, hey, like just trash everything since the last time we did a, a commit. So get restore, model cycle, services, AI, all this kind of stuff. Do you want to skip? Cool. So this should look exactly like it did last time we had a successful build of the project. I was working on this over the weekend a little bit. So, you know, I mean, th this is... To me, like to me, I just vibe. I think with Claude Code better than Codex from ChatGPT. So I would love to hear how you experience the two because because they are similar, right? You can run both in cursor here or any kind of IDE. You uh, you can just talk to it and it's integrated right into your code base. Like there's a lot of things to like about both. It's just the style of Claude Code for me is a winner. But I want to hear from you. What, what am I missing? Where are you liking Codex uh, from ChatGPT and OpenAI better than Claude Code? How are you using it? Are you using it just in the terminal? Or are you integrating it into your IDE like this? Drop a comment in below. We'd love to hear from you and just like help everyone else level up together a little better. If you're enjoying this and you haven't checked out the full series on Vibe Coding, a SaaS app with Claude Code and Cursor as a non-developer, check out this video right here.